That's that the most terrible. spastic drum roll. That's that terrible. 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 Terrible drum terrible. roll. Why would you What's do up? a drum roll? Uh, What's up, Chaz? Why would you do a drum roll? Why do I always do a drum roll? I have what does no a drum idea. roll indicate? Uh, 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 Joe Morello. No, I am not. No. It's not even a tribute to Joe Morello. It better Joe not Joe Morello be. is rolling over in his grave. I heard that. I heard <laughs> that. Every time we call that. Do you have a, a list? Roll. I do. You know what the list says? No. Unveil the router. What, what are we doing? We haven't answered that. This is a, a, a video thing. On yeah, the... which one? I have no... I can't see Season one out. or two? Uh, two. Two. The last one we uploaded was Videocast 6.1. Yeah. So what does that make this? 6.2. No. See? <laughs> Show us what Season I know. Season two, uh, episode seven. Point. Zero. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Zero. Anyway, we are here to show Videocast Land our uh, brand new CNC router, which is currently covered up in this ugly dust cover. Watch out, you'll break that it thing. It will break. Um, so why is it an ugly dust cover? Well, it's actually, it's not. I think it's pretty elegant. If, if I'm truly honest, I think it's elegant. Chaz, we needed a dust cover. Chaz said, give me uh, two days, some two by fours and some half inch plywood. And uh, here we are. It's not pretty. But it's completely functional. It was pretty cheap to build, and uh, works works great. Um, it's like the old cover, one, which prevents uh, carbon fiber dust from going all over the shop and all over our parts and our bagged up parts and, and all up computer. your nose. Yeah, and breathing that stuff in, uh, and it's on a nice block and tackle system, so it makes it pretty easy. What's that snake hanging out of it? To raise up what snake? The black we snake. The vacuum hose. The vacuum hose, it yes. Goes back to the back of our shop and our one and a half horsepower vacuum. Uh huh. The vacuum is back here, back there. And Paul is cleating up the rope, better known as a line on a cleat. And why is it that we have a cleat? And why do we know what to do with it? Uh, well, long that before come? RC Cars and long before X Factory in the Sinclair family, uh, we used to go on vacation uh, two weeks every summer and go sailing. Uh, back when I was a little kid, uh, we had a 14-foot uh, holder sailboat, mm -hmm. which was a nice wide behemoth. Didn't go very fast, but Mom it was liked it. relatively impossible to flip. Um, you proved that wrong. Re relatively. Uh, you and your sister. Yeah. Yeah. I proved I it wrong her. on two different occasions. Anyway, um, and then when my sister and I were older, when I was like perhaps 12, 13, 14, we sold the holder and got a 18-foot uh, Hobie Cat, which if you know much about sailboats is a pretty darn fast mm -hmm. sailboat. It's uh, like so having a race car. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Um, so, had a whole trapeze set where you could hang out the side of the boat when they, you know, when you had a good gust of wind going. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so are we talking sailboats or talking are we talking router? router? We're talking CNC router. Um, this is our new baby. Um, to make a long story short, we had uh, essentially the X6 squared of routers. Um, uh, we bought it, I guess it's been two and a half years now, almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, three. And that's what we've cut all of our carbon fiber on. It's done a great job for us. But I noticed uh, maybe a month ago that the last two or three sheets I'd cut, I wasn't happy with some of the parts. The quality wasn't up to our standards. And uh, so I tore the machine apart, as any good engineer should, instead of tossing it out, I tore it apart and said, what's wrong with it? And I found that the, uh, the T-nuts on the Z-axis were worn out. Um, so uh, any, any router or mill, I shouldn't say any, some of them run on belts, um, but we have a shaft drive version. Um, but it runs on a lead screw. Uh, so like this is the X lead screw, the Y lead, or the Z lead screw is here vertically. And on the lead screws are T-nuts, uh, which are specialized nuts that take up any backlash. Uh, they're meant to wear very specially, and they're meant to fit very tight, tighter than a normal nut would, um, so that there's no slop, and the, it, that's what makes the machines precise. And so when they wear out... When they wear out, after two years of cutting carbon fiber, you need new ones. Um, and one of the reasons we chose this router, actually, when we shopped around, was that this router is made here in Northwest Ohio. Uh, the shop that it's made in is about 10 minutes from our X-Factory shop. Uh, so found that the T-nuts were bad, called them up, said, hey, can we come pick up some new ones? They said, sure. We walked over, and lo and behold, we found that they developed the X6 cubed, their version of the X6 cubed. Um, and uh, so we walked in to get some uh, 
fifty dollar tea nuts and we uh, walked, walked out, out. <laughs> having bought an upgrade kit for our router. Um, and what we did, they, they had us, we talked to them about it, they gave us a reasonable price, we took them our old machine, and uh, they tore it apart and put all the new stuff on it. And, so, but a lot of the old machine is still yeah, here. Yeah, so each of the, the, the axis motors are from the old machine. That's the X, there's the, uh, there's the Z motor, mm -hmm. down here Here's is the, the y. y motor. These, these blue uh, rails are from our old machine. Uh, all the electronics and the programming is from the old machine. Um, well, but, I think they updated the program, didn't they? Yeah, it's a new version of the software, but the box and the, the controlling hardware mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. all the same. Um, anyway, what's new and better about the machine, first, it has uh, the bottom of the gantry is all aluminum construction instead of this black, hard plastic material. Uh, and that prevents the machine, it, it makes it more rigid. It takes out a lot of slack. takes out a lot of slack. And you can see that um, we have actually upgraded uh, some, some of the, the screws, hardware. You can see the gold stuff or grade 8 hardware. Um, the other thing they did is they braced each of the uh, the axis bars, the travel bars. They braced um, with stiff plastic that's glued to the bar here on the bottom. Um, and that prevents this bar from flexing to, again, make everything more rigid. Yeah. Uh, and so there's one there, and there's one down here. Yeah, this one's, they're hard to see because it's black, and it's yeah. hard contrast. And that's on the x-axis. Then on um, the y-axis, it's down here, right? Yep. Can you, so you can point, see, Paul? You can see it starts, the bracing starts right here, and continues on back through the middle mm -hmm. of the machine. The other thing that they did Didn't on this machine... did they upgrade the bearings that ride The bearings the... Are, are, are more precise, and it's also a wider base, again, to help fight flex in the machine. Mm -hmm. um, and that made the machine... Well, the working envelope in the machine, the size of the carbon fiber I can cut, is the same. Uh, the overall footprint of the machine is bigger, and so we had to make a new tabletop and make a new uh, dust cover for the machine. Yeah. Now, uh, are, are these bearings different in here? They look like they're... They're different, yeah. Because of the bracing, they couldn't surround the... the the, the, the rail rod. anymore. Yeah, and so they have so they're to, uh, but they're wider space. They're and, spaced and, apart wider on the Y axis. And they have uh, they have better aluminum uh, that's the holding carriages. them together. The mm -hmm. carriages and so on. Yep. So it's much better in that regard. Um, and uh, they also upgraded us. Uh, I'm pretty tricked out being a, being a physics major at heart. I'm pretty tricked out by the dust cover. It is held on with magnets. I don't know if you can see them down in there. Yeah, you can see them. But they're. Uh, so the new dust cover just pops in there. It used to have this weird sliding system that was kind of funky to use and was held in by a weird little screw. Um, well, it was more than a weird little screw. It was just a bolt that you dropped in a hole. So the new one has uh, nice bristles and just pops on there. I'm pretty and there excited. it is. We're, yeah, we're happy as heck. So anyway, uh, the new router's installed. The dust cover's built. Uh, we got our spoil board for, for the bottom of it, and we have a lot of carbon fiber to start cutting. Um, That's what the sheets look like, folks. Yep. They start out like that. And they turn into uh, eight X6 cube chassis per sheet. Yeah. So we're anyway. going to start cutting the first sheet here That's tonight. all for now, folks. Thank you.